Hi there. Thanks for watching this video. My name is Alfonsine Anderson. I am a technical solutions architect in the enterprise networking team. This video highlights key features of the Cisco DNA Center release 2.3.2, internally known as FRED. Cisco DNA Center is a powerful network controller and management dashboard that enables you to manage and troubleshoot your network using these four personas specific to a job role in a network, AI, security, or DevOps, and it helps you improve efficiency, performance, and keep your network secure. The free release brings a lot of new features, but we've picked a few ones to share with you on this screen. From the network optimization perspective, we have added the ability to initiate a reboot of a wireless access point from a DNA center inventory. We are also able to see from the inventory perspective historical config changes that have been made on the device in or out of a band and be able to uh, see it in DNA center for devices managed uh, by the, the dashboard. From network health and insights, Industry-leading AI enhanced RRM feature works by collecting and analyzing telemetry data against the device configuration. Based on the device and the conditions, recommendations will be made on how to improve uh, the RIF network. The free release also adds the ability to integrate a thousand eyes with Cisco DNA Center and allow you from DNA Center to see tests and the results uh, from enterprise agents, uh, agents running on a Catalyst 90K series switches managed by DNA Center. Part of the security operations, we've added a posture assessment to part of endpoint analytics uh, that allows to probe for open ports or detect weak credentials on endpoints authenticating on the network. And finally, uh, as part of DevOps, a Cisco DNA Center integrates with the Jenkins, which is an open source tool, and this together allow developers to automate APIs, network flow, workflows. For the sake of time, I won't be able to demo everything here, so I will just cover uh, features and enhancement made to inventory and also assurance. The first feature I'm going to do a demonstration on is the, the config drift feature that I talked about. I would also go over how to configure device maintenance mode, uh, go over the integration of a thousand eyes with DNA center, and finally enhancements that were made to security advisories. And uh, here is my DNA center. The first feature that I wanted to go over is the config drift. Uh, let's go to the provision page and go to inventory, which pulls up everything that I have being managed by DNA Center. I made a few changes on this device that I'm going to pull up. As you see here, it's a 9300. And I'm going to click on config drift which brings up a really nice high layout of uh, how uh, the change history looks like from the running config perspective based on the config archives on the NAC. As you can see here, you can be able to uh, filter and go the start date and the end date to see what changes that were made. And you can even go ahead and label the specific config from a specific day and uh, be able to really compare. So right now I have this uh, day highlighted, as you can see here. And if you scroll down, you will see uh, the changes in green that can be able to show you exactly what has been changed. The second feature that I wanted to talk to from an inventory perspective, and I'm going to select the same device, is to uh, configure maintenance mode. 
what this feature does is that it suppresses a notification from uh, issues perspective because if your switch is rebooting as you are doing the upgrade uh, that's a false positive uh, since you are managing it so you can go to inventory and schedule maintenance as soon as you schedule this maintenance it's going to suppress those uh, false positive and notification because you're marking this device for uh, maintenance as you can see here the second feature is from assurance that i wanted to talk about uh, when i go to the menu menu main menu go to assurance and click on help and as this pulls up and i go to application I wanted to quickly show you what information you get from integration with Thousand Eyes. And this is from 24 hours perspective for this specific site. Uh, you can see that I have uh, one agent and two tests configured. And uh, all these configurations, as you see here, are done still on Thousand Eyes, which we, why we see a hyperlink that takes you to that specific test if you need to make changes. But this is a nice representation that shows you um, the, uh, the metrics uh, that you have from this test on a DNA Center dashboard. Another feature that I wanted to end up on is that uh, the uh, enhancements that were made on security advisories. To get there, it's, you go to the main menu, you go to tools, and you go to network uh, bug identifier. The first thing that you're going to see is that I have a DNA Center integrated with the CX Cloud that allows you to get more than just uh, P cert information. Uh, and you are able to get more than that from this integration. You are able to see uh, details on the bug information. You are always going to see the bug ID here where you can click on it and it takes you to tools.cisco.com to get more details. And as you hear, you are able to see uh, that I scanned it on March 1st, so this is specific time, and you can do the rescan. And uh, if you go to here, you can go, you can scroll up and down and be able to see also which bug, what it is about, and does it have a workaround, yes or no. So you can be able to uh, be able to really see all that. So let's say if I click on this, it says that it has a workaround. As you can see it here, you are able to see what that workaround is and whatever, which devices are affected here. And uh, again, this is a good layout. You see the devices impacted. You can see them in one place. And bugs on device where you see severity, walk around, and affected versions or in one dashboard. Thank you so much for watching this video.